Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss and learn about how to update a record using Glide Record. So, Glide Record class basically we use for insert, update, delete, and query the data to or from a ServiceNow table. So, in this video, we will take one use case, query the incident which are of priority to and in active state and print the count and assign them to the hardware group so said many times you got the requirement while working as admin or being in like development also you get the request from the business that okay these are the incident there is something happened so they are not assigned to this particular group so please assign these group tickets to this particular group so i have taken that example here so we will go into the system and see how it works so for the same I have code here I will go to background script and explain you and then we'll run it ok so here uh, again uh, we have to instantiate the glide record class first so glide record incident now we got the object so again you can change the name of object any meaningful name so this is not as such fixed then you have to add the query parameter so add query priority is equal to 2 and then add query active is equal to true okay so even here I will just uh, this is the same query which we did in while we were doing the query exercise in that video let's just as i told you in that video you can make use of the add encoded query so i will replace it with add encoded query and see if it works uh, okay so before that i will just explain the below code so till here you can see this code is as we have learned in uh, query now he from here while gr.next so gr is the function which is used to move to the next record so let's say you got the four records as part of query now while using while what gr will do gr will move you to the next record when every while will get processed so first time it will go to first record then second then fourth then fifth so as per your query how many record you get it will go one by one and once it will go inside the loop it will run that particular code which is written in this particular while loop and run on that particular record so here we have written gr.assignment group is equal to again the assignment group field is a uh, your uh, reference field so you have to pass the sys id so i have copied the sys id of that particular hardware group so uh, i would like to tell you that uh, this is not a best practice to hard code the value in the code so for this you have the property feature available in service now so you can create a property for hard coded values and call the property for the assignment so okay let me show you uh, this thing as well so first i will what i will do i will just put, replace it with encoded query Okay, so here I have opened this record with the same query. So we have uh, active is equal to true and priority is equal to true. So we while we use the encoded query, we need to pass the query string into that function. So gr dot add encoded query here. And inside that we have to pass the encoded query query string which says that active is equal to true and priority is this so to get the query easily always apply the filter on your list view on that particular table and right click at the end of the filter and copy query now your query is copied you can just put this query here so it is a small query you can write but when you have a very long query then it is recommended to create a filter 
I used to do that and uh, type it sorry create the filter and copy it now uh, I replace this okay let me so you have <coughs> how to make use of property so go to sys underscore properties table okay properties dot list So when you are uh, running obviously one time code, uh, you can make use of this but uh, generally when you are writing a business rule or other codes, you always create a property for hard coded values and call that property in your code. So I will give the name as uh, hardware dot assignment dot you can provide a description uh, for your particular query then here you have the types so I will put it a string because my society is the yeah. so I put the value here now I will save this have defined the property now okay let me just first to run this code as it is then we will try with property as well so here uh, we have our incidents with the same query and as you can see the assignment group is empty here so let's just run the code first as it is so here something happened let's just see what exactly happened okay oh by mistakenly I have typed wrong thing okay sorry by mistakenly the I missed the spelling of query so let's just run this again So now come here and we can see the assignment group is updated. So that's uh, what I said in previous videos as well that uh, try to write the script in some script editor and prefer to use fixed script script editor, uh, editor or business rule script editor then you can query the copy because that will highlight you the syntax if you have making any you are making any wrong syntax writing then it will highlight you so what happened with me as you seen here so I have corrected the query and here you can see add encoded query I am using and I can update the record so the records are updated with hardware now let's just try with property okay, I will make these blank okay now it is blank and instead of hard coded value I will call the property gs dot get property and the key you have to pass is as name of your We are ready to go. We will run this code again. Okay, and let's just see if the assignment group is updated. See, it is updated. So, uh, the main objective here is we should use the property instead of hard coded value in the code. When if it is like, uh, let's say you have written assignment group X in your code okay later on the requirement got changed and then 
this should go this particular thing should go now to group by then you have to open your code and modify the code but if you have property defined you can just simply go to that property and update the correct society so this is a very good practice to use the property for hard coded values service now also recommend the same thank you for watching the video i will be back with the some new concept till then please like share and subscribe the video thank you